Alright, and welcome back again. In the last episode, we had found a map in Cyberman's room where we went to the King's Valley and found out that she has looked at a drawing and maps and he has hidden the current millennium items in different temples or shrines, if, whatever way you want to look at it. And now we've got to battle people to get the millennium item and defeat him and bring peace to Egypt. So, we are going to go to the different shrines and start uh, defeating people, but we're going to have to leave shop to do it. Now, each of these uh, fields, these uh, places have a low mage and a high mage. You can save after defeating the low mage, but when you go back to the same temple, you have to fight the low mage and the high mage. So, there's two battles consecutively, so make sure that your deck is very balanced. Again, you can do free duels as many times as you want. There's no limit, and I recommend it. <sighs> That meta mage, basically, they're using the card Sagan as their field. They're going to have cards that basically benefit a meta field. I wanted to get the low mage for the uh, meta because it's actually beneficial. Oop, pretty guy. I'm amazed that you've made it this far. Too bad. You'll never leave here alive. Wow. Well, we'll see what we'll do here. See if we do. Okay, uh, that better might, it does benefit me here, actually, but you gotta have tough cards here, No, your fusions or have very tough cards in your deck. Meta, for me, when I first played, was actually easy, and it makes, it made me, this is random, but I really, really want some food right now. It's really random. After I defeat these two, I'm going to. But see how it's all a matter of playing the cards right in your luck. Leave the cards and you will succeed. Now, the low meta mage gives off very good cards. Like Dark Magician and has a tendency to give off Meteor Beat Dragon, but I... I think that's the high mage, the low mage not so much. You can change the field too, but sometimes they have a limited amount of cards that keep the thing the same way it was. I don't think this fusion will work. No, it won't. It's not impossible to win these battles. Some of them you might S tech. <sighs> what a marshmallow now that I think about it. In my next turn, hopefully. I'm not going to save because, actually I might just save. If you're confident enough that you can defeat the, uh, in a second time, then go ahead, go ahead and save. I'm going to. If he gives me a good card, I will. Awesome, I won. Please give me a good card. Vermilion Sparrow, that's a good card. He caught it, you will regret this victory. For you'll be facing the power of High Mage Kapura. <sighs> I'm gonna return so I can save, because that's a very good card. I really just wanna save. I can beat him a second time. Card shop. I don't recommend you do this with every person you defeat. Vermilion Spacy, excellent. I'm going to replace actually a pyro card I have. Or you know what? Firegrass I'm going to replace with Vermilion Sparrow and save one more time. Due to folly of electronics, I lost the part where I beat the High Mage Capura, and it wasn't that bad of a battle, but I had used cards that I had acquired through trading and uh, playing other players. So, 
at this point, I'm going to actually end this one episode early. Uh, again, I'm sorry, computers will do that, but um, in the next episode, we should be headed towards the Meadow Mage, so be looking forward to that, and keep looking, and keep subscribing to my channel, and keep the comments flowing. In the meantime, I'm signing out.